But today we heard from the speaker a very different story, actually suggesting that it was through the NSA's program, FISA, that stands for Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, that they got information from that particular program uh, that there was something that was afoot. And that implies that potentially this is not just a lone wolf, somebody who was acting on his own, but potentially uh, making phone calls, uh, reaching out to other people either overseas or talking to some of the bad guys who are here in the country through that act. I want you to listen to what the speaker said very closely. The first thing that strikes me is that we would have never known about this had it not been uh, for the FISA program and our ability to collect information on people who pose an imminent threat. I'm going to say this one more time because you're going to hear about it for months and months to come as we attempt uh, to uh, reauthorize the FISA program. Uh, our government does not spy on Americans unless there are Americans uh, who are doing things uh, that, uh, frankly, tip off our law enforcement officials uh, to uh, an imminent threat. And it was our law enforcement officials and those programs that helped us stop uh, this person before uh, he committed a, a heinous crime in our nation's capital. So, Brooke, what we're listening to, what we're hearing here is this suggestion that this is an individual that the FBI or the NSA uh, was aware of, that they were potentially looking at or listening to over a period of time. He had said that FISA, they're trying to reauthorize that act, very controversial, came under fire under President Bush, previous President Bush. And this is something that could have been old information or information they have collected over a period of time that may suggest that this is not just an individual who, through social media, Media they found out was going to go ahead and attack the Capitol this way, but perhaps there were other individuals that were involved that he was talking to, some real bad actors uh, that potentially were involved in this. Brooke?